Hi there! Fancy seeing you here again! Here we are again, this is Caleb Jones, and this is the Alpha Male 2.0 Podcast, and today I have a special treat for you. So, for the last few months, I, and a lot of other people, a lot more people than are usually involved, have been diligently at work at producing a new book for you. This is a book that is coming out later in November or early December. I don't have the release date yet, but I will have that in the next few days, and I will be announcing that at my blogs, theblackdragonblog.com to be specific. And this is the completely rewritten and completely updated and completely enhanced book, my one of my original Black Dragon books, The Ultimate Online Dating Manual, updated for the 2020s. This is one of those books that I have to regularly update because online dating changes pretty quickly. Uh, my other books don't need to be updated nearly as fast or nearly as much. You know, dating techniques on first and second dates, relationship management techniques, things like that. Those don't really change much, but online dating changes a lot. So it was time to update that book. And I am working with about 10 different guys who are actively online dating right now using Tinder, Bumble, some guys using Instagram, guys who are getting laid and getting dates and getting women right now, even during coronavirus. And they have all contributed to this book. Plus I have rewritten and updated everything in that book from its original 2016 version. And today for this podcast, I'm going to give you the entire unabridged first chapter of this book, even though it has not been released yet. So no one has heard this yet. This is brand new, brand new cutting edge stuff just for you today for free and check at the Black Dragon blog and or the website OnlineDatingSuccessNow.com, which is the main page for this book, for the dates on the new release of this book late this November or early December. I am super excited about this book. This is something that has kind of been gnawing at me for a while to get this out to you, and I am very excited to finally get this in your hands, at least in a few weeks, but you can listen to this first chapter and uh, this is the real chapter. This is the unabridged chapter, completely unedited. This is everything we include in the book. And this is one of the longest chapters of the book, is one of the key chapters of the book, as you're about to find out. So without further to do, or without further ado, how do you say that? Further ado? Further ado. Not further to do. I'm a dumbass. Without further ado, here is chapter one of the Ultimate Online Dating Manual, updated for the 2020s. Enjoy. Chapter one, Online Dating Overview. You are listening to the latest and most updated version of the most comprehensive book regarding online dating available in the world. Its first iteration was an ebook called Fill Your Calendar with Dates Using Online Dating. I wrote way back in 2009 under the pen name Black Dragon. I added a second updated ebook called Improve Your Online Dating Techniques a few years later. A few years after that, I updated the material again, combining both books into one. In 2016, I completely rewrote the entire book with updated information and called it the Ultimate Online Dating Manual. The book you are now listening to is the modernized and expanded version, completely updated for the 2020s. I have been online dating in some form or fashion almost consistently for almost 14 years. In that time, I have tested literally hundreds of techniques across a broad range of online dating platforms and have been extremely successful. I have spent the past decade teaching online dating techniques to hundreds of thousands of men all over the world. I have been told repeatedly that my techniques regarding online dating success are the best available. I have received amazing feedback, techniques, and hidden tips from my readers and clients and have incorporated all of this knowledge into the book you are now listening to. By the end of listening to this book, you will be able to take your results from online dating from zero to whatever results you desire, whether that's finding a long-term companion or just playing the field. That's not a boast. That's a statement of fact. Thousands of men all over the world, most of them average looking, have used these exact same techniques to date and have sex with attractive women of all ages. Online dating has changed a lot over the years, and it's certainly not as easy as it once was but it still works in most civilized regions of the world if you put in the time and effort and do the right things. This book is full of 100% up-to-date, field-tested, real-world principles and techniques 
that have been proven to work for thousands of men all over the Western world, and many outside of the Western world as well. I'm quite confident in saying that this is the best stuff there is on the subject of online dating anywhere. My quick history. Way back around 2006, I overheard two of my friends talking. So how many girls have you actually had sex with from Match.com? Five. Five? Damn! The guy who said five wasn't some kind of skilled player. He was a normal-looking, everyday dude with minimal gain. My eyes went wide, and an idea popped into my head, and my life was never the same. At that point, I was a beta male in a bad marriage. Things deteriorated, and a year later, I found myself divorced. There I was, the typical dorky dad in his mid-30s, almost 10 years out of practice when it came to dating. I remembered how dating was before I was married. My single life as a young man was a huge hassle. There was drama, compromises, hurt feelings, lots of money spent, on my part of course, and lots of wasted time. I decided to look at women, relationships, and sex in a more systematic manner, a way that would produce positive results for me for the work I put into it, just like in my business life. I wanted to meet and date women, but I had no desire to scour the streets, grocery stores, and bookstores trying to pick up chicks. I did end up doing some of that at one point, what the pickup artists call day game, and it did work. Sort of. I was able to meet and have sex with a few attractive women. However, the process was extremely time-consuming. Walking around malls and downtown areas, looking for women I considered attractive, talking to women, getting phone numbers, following up, not getting a response to my texts, having women flake or ignore me, trying to schedule dates, and so on. The effort-to-results ratio was horrible. Not to mention the fact that in a post-COVID-19 world, meeting women via real-life cold approach may not be quite as feasible as it once was. At the same time, I was already getting better results with online dating. As a hard-working, self-employed father in his 30s, I just didn't have the time in my schedule that day game required. Another big problem with day game is that you have to do it during the day. I don't know about you, but I work for a living. I have shit to do. I have several companies, travel often, have two children, and spend a decent amount of time exercising in an effort to fight the fat as I get older. I also live a non-monogamous lifestyle and date a lot of women. This means I don't have a lot of time during the day. What about during the nighttime then? I'm an introvert and I don't drink, so hanging out at bars, clubs, and parties didn't turn me on either. With a strong work life, staying out late into the evening on weeknights was simply not an option. Not to mention the fact that I was already in my mid to late 30s. A little old to be hanging out at clubs, at least in my opinion. Today, I'm almost 50. Now I'm really not interested in that stuff. All of that ruled out meeting women at dance clubs and the like. What about sleeping with women I already knew? What they call social circle game. Right after my divorce, I did a little of that and it worked. I briefly dated the few good-looking women I knew who were available. After that, I ran out of women fast. I suppose I could have spent time building a social circle, but again, I'm an introvert, and that seemed like an unpleasant time sink for me. Don't get me wrong, day game, social circle game, and night game can all work, provided you do them correctly. I'm not one of those defensive tunnel vision guys who says that my way is the only way and all other methods are crap. No, all four game styles do work, online, day, night, and social, and they all have their advantages. The key difference is that online dating is the most time management friendly of the four game styles by far. If you're a busy guy, or an older guy, or a more introverted guy, or a more results-oriented guy, or a guy who just doesn't like the other three styles of dating, online dating is extremely effective, provided you do it correctly, and most men don't. My goal back then was to set things up where I could literally press a few buttons and line up dates and sex with attractive women whenever I felt like it. I didn't want to screw around with things that didn't work. I didn't want to wonder about what worked and what didn't. Most importantly, I didn't want to waste time. I wanted a repeatable and reliable system. So, starting in early 2007, I hit the dating sites hard. Back then, the big dogs were Match.com and Yahoo Personals. I put on a nice outfit, took a few selfies with my digital camera, slapped up a profile, and started messaging women. At the same time, I tracked every step of the process on various spreadsheets. I tracked my results with different types of photos, different types of outfits and colors, 
different wording in my profiles, different types of first messages to women called openers, different ways of pitching first dates, and on and on. I also tracked the results I had with different types of women. I tracked ages, races, personalities, hair colors. Yes, I actually tracked my results from women with different colors of hair. I'm a nerd. You name it. It took a while. I had to test and experiment with different kinds of dating apps, different types of photos and text on my profiles, different kinds of messages to send women, which types of women were more likely to date me, when to pitch the first date, where to go on the first date, how to minimize women flaking or rescheduling the first date, which types of women were more likely to have sex with me quickly, and so on. I did a lot of things wrong. I embarrassed myself more than once. Regardless, I kept at it kept trying new things I learned on the internet or came up with myself, and continued to track the results. If something worked several times in a row on several women, I made it part of my process. If something didn't work or only worked sporadically, I dropped it. Within a few weeks of experimentation, I was going out on dates with some of the most beautiful women I had ever seen in person in my entire life. I couldn't believe it. After several months of hard work and experimentation, I got there. I could literally go on any major dating site, use my system, press a few buttons, and within a few days, fill my entire week full of first dates with beautiful, fun women. Over the next 18 months, I kept testing and tweaking my system. Within about two years, it was perfected. I could simply go on the dating apps, execute my system, and find companionship and or sex literally whenever I wanted. It worked every time. Yes, literally every time. I have never done an online dating blitz, meaning a big blast of openers or swipes, where I didn't have sex with at least one new woman unless I was experimenting with something new. Even better, just about every woman I have sex with is an 8 or higher, at least to me, using the 1 to 10 attractiveness scale. The average amount of face time I spend with a new woman, grand total, from the moment I first meet her in person to when we have sex is about 3 hours, and often less than that. When not doing sugar daddy game, the total amount of money I spend from the moment I meet her to when we have sex, on average, when I actually do spend money, is around $23. About 30% of the time, it's $0. The many men who are online dating right now and have contributed to this manual get even better results than that. Around 2009, I started teaching this system to men on the internet, and they started to replicate my results. Using my online dating systems, I started hitting social media sites like MySpace. I had to change the process a little, but my systems worked there as well. And I had sex with numerous women from MySpace, as well as MySpace-like sites they had back then. New sites appeared, like Plenty of Fish and OkCupid. Old sites died, like Yahoo Personals and MySpace. I kept going, applying my systems to new sites and apps as they came into use, and my results actually got better. Around 2013... Tinder appeared, changing the entire game. Once again, I applied my systems to Tinder and other Tinder clones, i.e. swipe apps, changed a few things around, and became successful there as well. At around this time, online dating started to get harder. More and more men flooded the online dating market. Women started getting more picky. Other women started treating online dating apps as glorified social media sites, using these apps and sites to get attention from men rather than to actually meet up with men in real life. Online dating sites and apps started imposing all kinds of insane rules and restrictions to their systems and algorithms. Response rates and match rates declined, pretty much for all men, myself included. But it still worked. My online dating efforts were still getting consistent results even then. The difference was that I had to put in more numbers, use more apps, get higher quality photos, and get better at scheduling dates all topics we will cover in this book in great detail. Between 2013 and the 2020s, many men gave up on online dating, declaring that, quote, online dating doesn't work anymore, end quote, which was, and still is, great for guys like me willing to put in the extra effort to make things work. There's less competition for us now. Around 2014 to 2015, another online dating revolution hit, Sugar Daddy Sites. Once again, I hit a few of these sites, applying my online dating systems. And once again, while I had to modify things a little, it worked fantastically, even better than I expected, often without having to actually give the girls any money, though sometimes I spent money too. Since then, Sugar Daddy Game has also become more difficult, but it still works. 
for those men willing to go that route. Then more revolutions appeared on the scene. Apps like Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok appeared. And men started using my online dating systems as baselines to meet women on these apps, treating them just like dating sites and making it work. Today, in the 2020s, I do much less online dating than I did in the past. I am now married, though in an open, non-monogamous marriage, where I still have sex with other women whenever I want. And I have plenty of women in my life. So to ensure this book contains the very best real-world information, I have engaged members of my audience who are online dating hardcore right now to share the techniques they are now using to be successful with online dating right now. My staff and I have gone out of our way to vet all these contributors to make sure they are actually getting the results they say they are by checking numerous screenshots and videos they have submitted. In addition, for those online dating areas I have not personally done, like meeting women on apps like Instagram, I have engaged members of my audience to share the techniques they're using with these apps right now in this book. Therefore, this book will show you how to be successful with every type of online dating you can possibly think of. Online Dating Technology Cycles As the above examples show, any new online dating technology goes through five phases. 1. Early Adopters 2. Hyper-Effective 3. Normal Four, difficult, but still works. Five, effective only for a small, specific group of people. Every online dating technology that has ever existed has followed this five-stage cycle. First, it comes out, and hardly anyone uses it except for a very small group. Then it becomes really effective and very easy, and guys who use it get a massive amount of dates and sex. As it becomes more mainstream, it becomes less easy, but still pretty good. As it saturates and the app becomes more restrictive, it gets hard. Then, eventually, it either becomes useless or valid only for a narrow subset of the dating population. Let's take Match.com as just one example. Number one, first, it launched in the mid-90s, and there were a tiny few early adopters. It languished for about 10 years, not doing much. Two, then, during the 2002 to 2005 time frame, it became hyper-effective. Normal, everyday guys could go on Match.com back then and quickly and easily rack up the dates and sex, almost like seasoned pickup artists, like my friend I mentioned earlier. It was like shooting fish in a barrel. I was astounded. Unfortunately, I was traditionally married at the time, so I missed this window. Number three, at around 2006, it went from hyper-effective to normal. Match.com was one of the sites I used right after my divorce in 2007. I got great results though not nearly as easily as the 2002 to 2005 guys had it. Number four, at around 2011, Match.com entered the fourth phase and started getting problematic. They added a bunch of filters, many of women left the site, lots of fake profiles appeared, response rates went down, and so on. Number five, today, Match.com has entered its fifth phase. It's really only effective for over 30 beta males looking to get over 30 divorced women as serious girlfriends or wives. For that niche, it works fine. For everyone else, it's almost useless. Plenty of Fish went through the same exact five phases, though much more quickly than Match. It used to be easy as hell on there. Now it's in phase four and is somewhat difficult, but still works in most cities. Tinder has also gone through the five phases, even more quickly than Plenty of Fish did. Tinder used to be absolutely fantastic for about a year and a half. It went through its adoption, hyper-effectiveness, and normal effectiveness phases very quickly. Sugar Daddy dating sites have just moved from phase two, hyper-effectiveness, to phase three, normal effectiveness. Older men who don't mind throwing around a little money are having a good time on these sites, but soon these sites will get more difficult as they become more saturated, and then something new will replace them. Social media games especially for apps like Instagram, are now entering their hyper-effectiveness phase for those few men willing to put in the work. And so on. The point is, anything good won't be good forever, and anything bad will soon be replaced by something new and hyper-effective. It's all normal and natural. The good news is that while the app-specific techniques change based on the platform, the core techniques never change regardless of the platform. Maximizing your appearance, optimizing your photos, working with the algorithms, opening correctly, 
pitching dates correctly, and so on. These kinds of techniques never change. Regardless if you're talking about plenty of fish, Tinder, Bumble, Instagram, or seeking arrangement. This book will cover both the core techniques that never change as well as most platform-specific techniques for each dating app, which are subject to change every few years. If you're good at the core basics, even changes in the platform won't present a great challenge for you once you experiment a little. Any objective. Your goals with women are your own. The online dating techniques in this book will work regardless of what your goals are. These techniques will work if you're looking for a wife or long-term girlfriend. You're looking to just have fun. You're a young guy just starting out. You're already an advanced lover with serious game. You're an older guy looking to date younger women. You're a younger guy looking to date older cougars. You've recently become single after a divorce or breakup and are out of practice. You have a higher income and don't mind becoming a sugar daddy if it cuts time and effort out of the dating process. You've experimented or even become good at other types of game, day game, night game, etc. and want to try something new. You're a near virgin and have no idea where to start. The point is this book applies to you even if you're not like me or don't want to be like me. Again, it's a system. It will work for you if you implement it correctly. The four types of online dating. There are four types of online dating, each one with their own objectives and techniques. We'll cover all of them in this book. Type 1, Standard Online Dating. This is the default type of online dating. It means you're looking to get dates with women so you can have sex and or date without following a restrictive set of parameters. Casual, serious, or something in between, it really doesn't matter to you, and you're down for just about anything. Type 2, Companion Seeking. This is when you're online with the sole objective of finding a serious girlfriend or similar serious long-term companion. This means you don't mind spending more time screening for higher quality women, even if it means a little more work and patience. Type 3, social media game. This is online dating using social media apps like Instagram instead of using online dating apps. The vibe is a little more casual and less aggressive than standard online dating. Type 4, sugar daddy game. This is only for older men with higher incomes. It's when you use sugar daddy dating sites with the intention of having sex, usually a more casual relationship, with younger women, likely, but not always, in a more transactional way, exchanging money for sex. It's important to identify which type or types of online dating you desire as you go through the material in this book. At various points, I will point out certain techniques that work or are recommended for some types of online dating, but not others. Objections to online dating. There are several common objections to online dating that perhaps you've heard of or thought of yourself. Objection one, online dating is only for really good looking men. Average dudes can't get laid online. I hear this a lot and it always makes me laugh. This is obviously and empirically incorrect. Back around 2008 to 2010, when I was really going crazy with online dating and having sex with a lot of women, I was literally the fattest I had ever been in my entire life. I was almost 250 pounds of fat, and I'm only 5'10". I also had really pale skin and clearly thinning hair. Yet, I was having sex with tons of very attractive women, most of them 15 plus years younger than me, with virtually zero money spent without any major problems. Although I did have to work hard and really put in the numbers. We'll cover that later. Today, I regularly communicate with men all over the world who are successful with online dating, and the majority of them are average looking. Many of them are even a little ugly. A few of them even have been fat, as in fatter than I was. You'll learn from some of these men's techniques in this very book. It is true that if you are truly hideous, or weigh 400 pounds, or have some other major problem with your looks, online dating will probably be a challenge for you. Frankly, so will every other way of meeting women. So yeah, if you are massively overweight or have some kind of physical deformity, you should probably get that addressed before you hit online dating hard. It is also true that if you are super good looking, your results with online dating will be much easier. Duh. However, just because good looking guys get laid easier doesn't mean average looking guys can't get laid at all. To equate the two is not only silly and childish, but I see it proven incorrect on a regular basis. If you're an average-looking guy, 
Yes, you can get dates, you can get laid, and you can find relationships all via online dating right now in the 2020s. Thousands upon thousands of men who are uglier than you are getting laid right now using online dating while you're saying it can't be done. Objection 2. Online dating used to be good, but it doesn't work anymore. Today, women are more picky. All the dating apps have become saturated with attention whores who don't actually want to meet you in real life. On top of that, all the good-looking guys have taken all the hot girls. I know this is true because I once went on, insert dating app here, and swiped a billion times and didn't get any matches at all. As I explained earlier in this chapter, there is some truth to this. It's true that guys who first took advantage of online dating way back around 2004 got laid left and right with very little effort. When I started in 2007, things were not quite as prosperous online, but they were still pretty good. Today, online dating match rates and response rates are indeed less than they were several years ago, all other factors remaining equal. But online dating still works. To repeat, to this very day, even during COVID-19, I am talking to hundreds of men all over the world who are still getting results with online dating. True, they have to work harder than they used to. So do I. Irrelevant. There's a big difference between saying something doesn't work at all, which is false, and saying something is harder but still works, which is accurate. By the way, did you know that day game experts and night game experts are also complaining about the exact same thing in their own circles? Day game and night game are also not as easy as they were 10 to 15 years ago. All game has become more difficult. Does that mean it doesn't work? Nope. Online dating still works as long as you put in the time and effort. If you don't want to put in any work, that's fine. You're more than welcome to forget all of this and pay hookers instead. Objection 3. Online dating sucks as compared to things like day game because, well, how do you know if the girls actually look like that in real life? All these women use Instagram filters these days. What if they show up and look worse than their photos? I can tell you for an absolute fact that over the course of my online dating career, I've had more women show up and look better than their online photos than I've had women who looked worse. I'm serious about this. For many years, this really surprised me. It's true that I've had some women show up who are clearly much older or more overweight than their pics indicated. But in my experience, at least, This has been the exception rather than the rule. The few guys I've seen complain about this are guys who are very picky about their physical type. If you're extremely anal about how exactly a woman should look from head to toe and consider anything less than 100% adherence to that as a deal breaker, then yeah, you should skip online dating and focus on something like day game where you can see the entire package before you invest any time. If you're not quite that rigid, if you follow the techniques in this book, It won't be a serious problem. Objection four. Online dating isn't real game. A real man or a real alpha male cold approaches women in real life and learns how to do that. If you rely on Tinder or something like that to get laid, you're being a pussy. And if you get laid, it doesn't count. That's not skill. This is an argument used by thrill of the hunt men, a type of man I've described in my other books and blogs. If I have sex with a very attractive woman, within three hours of FaceTime by spending less than $23, and I can do this repeatedly, how does that not count as sex? If she later becomes someone I care about and have a long-term relationship with, how does that not count? It's true that cold approach day game requires more real game than online dating. However, these men forget that online dating doesn't work if you have no real-life dating skills. If you had the greatest online dating skills in the world, but had zero real-life dating skills, you'd never get any sex from online sources. You'd get tons of first dates, but that's it. Online dating success requires a combination of online skill and real-life skill. You could argue that online dating doesn't, quote, count if you actually want the process of dating to be difficult, which some men do. These are thrill-of-the-hunt types who find the process of dating and pickup exciting, as opposed to pleasure-of-sex types who just want to get to the sex as easily as possible and don't want it to be a challenge. So sure, if you want the process of dating to be tedious, time-consuming, and a difficult challenge to overcome, then please skip online dating. You'll hate it. 
Instead, be a real man and spend hours and hours busting your ass picking up girls at malls and nightclubs. I'll be over here being a pussy while having sex with attractive women quickly and easily. The process. When I say online dating, I'm talking about the entire process from when you sign up on a dating app all the way to when you walk into a first real life date with a woman you met via that app. As soon as you sit down with that woman in real life, online dating is over with. And now you've transitioned into real life dating or just dating. Like I said, you need both skills to make this work online dating, and real-life dating. This book covers the entire process of online dating all the way to that first date. It does not cover what to do on a first date or afterwards. My book, Get to Sex Fast, at gettosexfast.com, covers that part, exactly what to do on a first date and a second date so you can get to sex within a few hours of total FaceTime, ideally under three to four hours, with minimal money spent, ideally under $30. All right, enough of that. Let's get you started with the online dating system.